I'm going to be telling you guys about my entire um, skincare regimen. So I'm going to be talking about my face and my body. Um, the last time I did a skincare routine slash regimen video, I think it was about a year and a half ago. It was, it was October 2012. Um, so I think it's high time um, I do a new one because my skincare routine has changed quite a few times since October because I started out really oily when I just started making YouTube videos then halfway after I started taking Accutane it dropped my skin down to normal and I'm starting to realize that I'm kind of getting dry around the mouth area so I feel like I've kind of hit a few points in my skincare routine and I've found products that really work for me so I'm gonna start with body first just because it's a lot less products that I use on my body and then we'll move on into the face. Starting off for when I hit the shower, I'm definitely loving my Olay 2-in-1 um, Essentials body wash and this one has avocado oil and cucumber. I really love this one. It has like ribbons in it and it just smells so good. I love anything with cucumbers and avocado in it. I just find it to be very refreshing and uplifting. And I picked it up at Shop Shoppers Drug Mart. It was on sale, I believe, for $5, so I have that. And then I just kind of like wash off with my little loofah here. Also for my body, I use the African Paradise. Now you guys know I did a haul of this a couple of days ago. And um, I can tell you, I've been using it a lot. I'm pretty much halfway through the tub um, because I love it so much and I've been getting endless compliments on how good I smell. I went to get my eyebrows done the other day and this lady is threading my eyebrows and she's like, mmm, and she's like sniffing my face and she's like, you smell so good. I'm like, thanks. I just like take a shower, um, I rinse off, then I apply the African Paradise um, body conditioner and then I just rinse that off after like I massage it into my skin I rinse it off and then I pat dry with my towel and that just kind of like leaves the um, formula on top of the skin but it feels very moisturizing and I like half the time I don't even have to follow up with a body lotion because it just feels so moisturizing Speaking of body lotions, I use the Lubriderm Original Moisturizer and this one is for normal to dry skin. I really like this one just because it does what it's supposed to do. It moisturizes your skin. I'm not really looking for anything when it comes to body moisturizers. I don't really, I just don't really like get into it. So anything that kind of moisturizes and does what it's supposed to do for my body, I'm all for it. So I just grabbed this one mainly because it was on sale but I do scrub my body from time to time and what I do like to use to, to do that is my ocean salt face and body scrub I've been buying this for a really long time and I wanted to try something different but I found that I just ended up coming back to this ocean salt I really like it it has vodka and lime in it which is really good for just kind of brightening your skin um, scrubbing away dead skin cells and I think that this um, scrub is a little bit on the more abrasive side so it's not something that I use every day I would definitely say that I use this about once a week both for my face and body and that's also the other thing that I loved about this scrub is because you can use it for both face and body and you save a lot of money because you're finding something that does um, double duty so moving on to face I'm going to show you guys what I use to remove my makeup and also like my face wash and stuff like that so what I've been using for I would say about four months now is my Neostrata gel cleanser and this one was recommended to me when I had my facial done back in April so I've been using it for three months it's a very gentle non-invasive cleanser I really like that it has um, this is what she was explaining to me it has glycolic and lactic acid so it's really good for kind of melting off the dead skin cells as opposed to scrubbing them off so it's just very gentle and I really like the results that I get with this it keeps my face nice and clean and it just gives me a nice fresh base for when I'm ready to apply my makeup or even just run out the door so I use this twice a day and you only need a very very small amount for your skin it doesn't really lather too much and I picked this up at shoppers like I said before and it was a bit on the steeper side when it comes to drugstore 
gel cleansers. This one was, I think, closer to about $30. But like I said, I've had it for three months. I still have a lot of use out of it. I, I think I have a good month left in here. For moisturizing my face, I use the Philosophy's Hope in a Jar. I did my first haul of this way back in the beginning of the year. I bought the really small jar of it. I really liked it, so I went back and I got the bigger jar. Now this one is the 2 fluid ounce jar. The other one that I bought was the 0.5 ounce. But I really like this one because it is non-greasy, it's very light, so it complements my um, face wash really well. So I really like this one, and you can pick this up at Sephora. It is also a bit pricey. This one was about $56, so it is, personally, it's very expensive. I anticipated when I bought it that it would last me a good um six to eight months and I definitely think I'm right on track with that and I use this every single day twice a day in the morning when I wake up and wash my face and also before I go to bed at night so for under eyes I use the Olay fresh effects bright on schedule eye awakening cream and it just looks like this it just has like three little roller balls and it just has a creamy consistency you just kind of roll it under your eyes you just use your ring finger and you just kind of tap it out and it really helps your eyes to look brighter and more awake i just like it i think it's really cool i always wanted to try something like that but i was always very skeptical when it comes to you know these things i just never thought they were for removing my makeup i just currently use like these cleansing wipes so this is the bailey um, or Balea, I think it's Balea, Balea, I think it's Balea 3-in-1 Cleansing Cloths, and this one is for all skin types, it's just 15 of them, this I picked up at Shoppers, I believe I paid about $3 for it, so it's just, you know, you run up the mill cleansing cloths, I really like them, I find that they do work really well for just picking up all the makeup and after usually after I use this to remove my makeup I follow in with my um, Neostrata cleansing gel so that's pretty much how the skincare works and then I can't forget my hands so when I'm moisturizing my hands I really love to use the L'Occitane Provence um, cream hand cream and this one has shea butter in there I really like this one. I've been buying this for about a couple of years now. These little tubes run for about $12, but they last so long because a little bit goes a very long way and it smells so nice. I usually just toss this in my purse and I take it with me wherever I go. I usually buy about two of them at a time for backups. I always have like this fear that they're going to stop making it for some reason. So I always buy two because I really like it. So that is it for my updated face and body beauty regimen. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.